Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here with Dark Gadgets. Today we're setting up the Amazon Fire TV. Now I just hooked it up and all that appeared was searching for controller and I didn't have to do anything. It just automatically found the controller. So that's what we're at so far. So it says press play, stop to start. There we go. Scanning for networks. We're going to choose Dark Gadgets. And now we're going to input the password. All right, so now it's connecting to my Wi-Fi network. Connection successful, that's pretty quick. Now this does have dual band Wi-Fi, which makes it a lot quicker than some of the competition. All right, so your Amazon Fire TV requires an update. Please do not disconnect from the network or unplug the power cable while we download the update. All right, so we'll see how long this takes. Okay, so the download itself took about two or three minutes, and then the installation took about a minute or so, which felt like an eternity, but yeah, so there we go. The system is booting up with the latest firmware, Amazon Fire TV, and it's running through that again. That is odd. So let's see, it's maybe just booting up the latest software now because it had already installed it. So let's see how long this takes. Your new Amazon Fire TV. We want to make sure that you get the most out of your new streaming media player. So we're going to take a quick tour together that will teach you all about your Fire TV. Fire TV lets you stream a huge amount of entertainment and the Amazon Fire TV remote lets you access it all. With voice search, you can access the entertainment you love with just this remote and the sound of your voice. It's really pretty cool. Let's get started. Just press and hold this button at the top of the remote, wait for the prompt on screen, and say what you want to watch after the tone. Life of Pi. Your choice shows up instantly. We take your voice information and process it in the cloud to deliver better, quicker search results, and to help improve your experience. Use your voice to find movies, TV shows, actors, directors, film categories, even games and apps. No need to say commands like search or play. Just press and hold the voice search button, say the name, and Fire TV will give you the results you're looking for. Hugh Jackman. Press here to select what you want from the voice search results. And the Fire TV it remote won't let me is skip simple. this part. Okay, there we go. All right, so I restarted the video again by mistake. If you do get this, make sure you don't try to skip the video and just watch it the first time around or mute it and walk away and come back a few minutes afterwards because uh, this is the third time. Thank you and enjoy your new Amazon Fire TV. All right, so there we go. We finally got through that video. It took about five four minutes to get through that and it just basically went over the fact that you can upload your photos use your kindle to beam a video up there play games with the controller that comes with this or with the external game controller or the extra game controller that they sell separately but yeah we don't want parent controls here but if you're a parent and you want to do that feel free they of course have also this special mode for kids i think they charge a monthly fee for that but here it is, we're in it finally. The longest part of this whole thing was actually getting through that damn video. But yeah, here we have some watch list things. And I haven't even signed into my Amazon account, but I guess it comes already signed into my account that I ordered this with. So that's, uh, I believe, because I had Breaking Bad the final season. I have that on there and I have that on there. But uh, yeah. Let's see games here. Your games, okay, so it comes with the game here and it's in the cloud. Who can remove it from the cloud or click on it. So I guess this is the one that Amazon made especially for this and it downloads it right away. Now this interface, as others have mentioned, is reminiscent of the Plex interface, but it also does look a lot like the Kindle Fire interface. So it's kind of like a mix of both and, and you know, it's like all the user interfaces combined to make this one what looks like nice interface at the moment. But yeah, the, the device is $100 plus tax plus shipping, unless you have two day free prime. And then you also can buy the controller that is $40 extra. And you can see how quickly the video is downloading. I'm not, or the game is downloading. I'm not speeding this up. I'm on a connection that is about 120 um, down. So it really depends on your connection, but I mean, the the thing itself is quite speedy. The Apple TV that I've used or that I've had has been terrible pretty much the whole time because I mean, the connection on the Apple TV for some reason is just bad most of the time. Videos from YouTube are lagging and things like that. Controller not detected, it requires the game controller. So uh, 
if you want to pretty much enjoy the whole experience and i'm here looking for the game control here we go there it is if you want to enjoy the whole game experience uh, you're gonna pretty much have to buy the gaming controller and it's i guess worth it because i mean you're already getting into this amazon fire tv ecosystem so why not try and enjoy the most of it now as i mentioned in the controller unboxing this controller doesn't feel all that great you can't expect something like the xbox one controller or the playstation 4 controller but it's a start so here let's go ahead and launch the game amazon game studios let's uh let's just see how quickly this launches i'm not really going to start playing the game right now so uh it was just to see how quickly it would download and then launch but you can see this is from amazon game studios and this is pretty much their first game for this device and they're going to be getting into it more now what's great is that this platform is on android and html so developers can actually port their apps over to uh this system which is again just great so let's see here uh exit game to pair the controller you got to exit the game go to settings control. okay perfect so we're not doing that right now but you can see that's how you uh, pair the controller so before you download the game go do that if you do get the controller let's go back home here clicking the home button on the thing and there we go so featured apps and games netflix hulu plus minecraft that'll be interesting i mean if you have kids or something like that or you yourself that's a great game to play hopefully it looks good on here i'm assuming it's optimized to look great in 1080p but we'll see it is the mobile or the pocket edition so we have a uh, Asphalt, Airborne 8, Vivo. Now, all the apps that they've been touting and saying that, oh, we have a ton of apps, many of those won't be coming till next month, and as well as many of the games, maybe because developers are still working on it. And um, yeah, once there's mass adoption, of course, you're going to see a ton of more apps coming into this. I mean, this already has a lot more apps than the competitors when they first launched. But it's going to be interesting because I have a choice of Apple roku uh and all the other big ones but i mean i really love the controller and what amazon has done here let me see something here hugo let's see that yes i did so okay i clicked okay and there we go that was pretty quick i can watch now what happens if i click watch now let's see oh it's part of prime so i can watch it for free that's great but let's see how long this takes to load the movie real quick it's just interesting here i just want to see how quick this is and then we'll end the video and i know you guys like to listen to me talk but it has to end at some point you know i can't just keep talking forever because that would destroy my voice and bore you out at one point and this video is not playing for some reason maybe let's go home i don't know what's happening maybe it's a problem with the Elgato, yeah, that's probably it. It's because I have the Elgato connected to uh, record this. And I was making something up, never mind. Now it's working. No, no, it's not. It's not working. Press and hold. I mean, I'm assuming it will load pretty quickly, but it's not gonna work. Maybe because I have the Elgato hooked up and you can't record uh, things like that. That's odd though, it should be able to play the dang movie. I would get copyright anyway, probably, so it's better not to. Um, sadly, we cannot check out how quickly it loads something. We already tried that. Oh, let's hear some other apps. We have YouTube search, we have Frequency, Ninja Hero, what? Yes. Magisto, Pandora, Hulu. All right, so we got a good amount of apps here. We have Despicable. Some good games, not bad. Not a bad collection of games here. Terraria. And yeah, so I mean, we're going to see a ton of things coming to this because uh, developers can just port this thing over and play it on here. And you can just play Android games on here. But uh, that's it for this video, guys. That was it. That was a, a quick little, a quick little uh, overview of the, oh my gosh, why did I buy this? What did I just buy? Did I actually pay for that? No. I think it said zero dollars, right? I think it said that, but it still doesn't work. So I was trying to show you. Hopefully it didn't charge me anything. But yeah, so that is it for this video again. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
Goodbye.